Yo ho, me hearties, and welcome back to the Let's Play of The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. There'll be a shop somewhere around here, and we are going to go into it. Is this it? Well, it's a door. Let's open the door. Well, I think it's a shop. Well, there's a sign. Ring bell for service. What if I steal the bell? Oh. Oh, but look at that safe. That safe looks impregnable. Davy Jones's lockers. The last word in Feth, fire, and grog resistant storage devices. Wow, which just isn't a grog. That thing looks horrifying. Oh, there's a sword there. Don't we need one of those? Slash Master TM. When you want a sword, as sharp as your wit. Well, it's not very sharp then, is it? Let's use that bell. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and someone's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? Hmm. I'm looking for the Sword Master of Millie Island, TM. The Sword Master of Millie Island, TM? I don't know. Nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Oh, what have I done? Do not touch anything! Oh. I'm gonna press the bell again. Ding! I should have known it'd be you again. Well, did you manage to get there? The short master says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. <laughs> Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. You're just gonna stand there, aren't you? <laughs> hmm. What else is there that's particularly cool? Oh, there's a shovel. Let's look at that shovel. You always need a shovel. To... I don't have all day. Actually, you do. Digmaster. The only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Oh, heck yeah, we're gonna have that. And in fact, we're also going to have that sword. We want both of these! <laughs> Pick up the sword, Guybrush. Thank you! Now we'll buy them. What do you want? About this sword. What about it? I want it. Great! Best a hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. What about it? How much is it? Another would be treasure hunter, eh? It'll cost you seventy five pieces of eight. I'll take it. Great. I'll pay for it pay for itself, believe me. You'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some pressure for the rest of us, would ya? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. <laughs> Maybe my guest, Fancy Pants. By the way, I'm leaving. Goodbye! Well, there's, uh... Nothing more we can do here. We're just going to leave. The main reason why we're going to leave is purely because we have nothing more to do. But we do have a sword. And somewhere there's somebody who needs to be sorted. Not who you think, though. He can get quite a good clip on the can't he? Quite a good clip on his little walk. I can't use the sword on him, can I? Oh, 
Doesn't seem to work. Boo! There's a house here, though. I'm totally going there. Oh! Um, hello. Stop! You must pay a toll! Look behind you! A mouse! I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. Oh, None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Oh, please, can't I pass? Boy, you do sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. Oh, Pretty please let me go? Oops, sorry. I'll take the long way around. Ha! Oh. Please let me past. How much is the toll? How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? I want something that will attract attention, but have no real importance. Oh! I'll try to find something like that. Bye! You have three chances to give me what I want. Then, I eat you. Alternatively, I could just give you the fish. Ah! Red herring! Pass. Get it? This red herring. <laughs> it's a guy. <laughs> Clever. It's just like what? That's hilarious. <laughs> ah. There's a sign here, though. What's the sign say? Captain Smirk's Big Buddy Pirate Gym. Prices? Sword training 30 pieces of 8. Cannon firing 160 pieces of 8. Balls extra. Grapple hooking 130 pieces of 8. Hook extra. Why do I get the feeling we might end up having to use all of those? Maybe because it's how the games work. I think I'll knock. It'll only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? Ha ha ha! You can never be half the Swordmaster Carla is. Even with the hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. You know, you really should quit smoking. What I really should do is make you eat this stoogie. Oh! I'm gonna keep annoying you. What do you want? I do have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. I take like, like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course. It'll cost you. What have you got? I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see a sword. Okay, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. 
I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing is putting a cramp on business, I've got no choice. I need the money. Yes? I can see who's going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. Oh, only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding. But I'm that I'm gonna get go you these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine? Is this going to hurt? <laughs> Yikes! Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible. Use your forte against the foible! Distance! Distance! Watch your footwork! No! Beat first, then lunge! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it! More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. What? It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros... They know just when to cut their opponent with an INSULT! One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple INSULTS out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. You're fighting up a storm, just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> you should have responded with something like... How appropriate, you fight like a cow. You see... It's a razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against the wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. And you respond with... How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no! That was a response for the last insult! Don't even make sense when used here! <sighs> a correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like... First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster! <laughs> See? Razor sharp! Now I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Ooh! Bit of fourth wall breaking there, guy. Fortunately, um... You've, uh, managed to, uh, find a few cool things there. Oh! See those bloodthirsty and ugly pirates? We need to actually talk to those guys. Those guys will actually teach us insults. No, no, you. No, no, no. I want to click these people. Move out of the way or I cut you my way through. Nice, nice we're having, isn't it? <coughs> I sure hope you have... You had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo! It's how everybody talked back then! Come on, Guybrush, play along. My name is Guybrush Treepwood, prepare to die. Boy, are you ugly! 
I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. <laughs> oh, I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm rubber, you are glue. Hmm, that kind of worked. You are like a dairy farmer. Oh, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. Yeah, let's fight. Ching, 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 ching. You call yourself a pirate. Ha, is that the best you can come up with? I give up, you win. Well, clearly I'm not very good at this whole fighting people business. But when we come back, folks, we'll get better at it. Oh, will we get better at it. Catch you later.